Hey everyone, so I'm still debating on getting another Afterlife um, vehicle and turning it into the black pre ecto one from the 84 film. Uh, I really, really want to do it, but I just want to go over the logistics first uh, and see if it's really possible. I mean, I know it's possible, but what really entails what I have to do to make that happen. So... First of all, these lights will have to go. I don't know how they're connected yet. Um, I'm actually going to try to take this panel off here, up here, this black panel. Looks like there's screw holes. I don't know. I don't see screws anywhere. Actually, I don't think that is a screw hole. Anyways, got to find out how I can get these lights off. Obviously, the roof rack just pops right off. Um, I have to get this light off, this light off, these lights off. Okay. Then I got to see if there's a way to rewire it. So all of these lights in the front and the rear lights will still work. All right. Then I also would love to get a interior, a couple interior lights. Um, cause if I do this, I'm going all out. I'm going every detail guys, as much as I possibly can. Um, but I would love, I'm going to gut the inside. I'm going to make, uh, a gurney, um, you know, maybe even a casket. Maybe I'll have like a gurney and a casket in there. Um, I'll do the curtains, all the curtains on the inside. Um, lay some carpet down, all that stuff. Right. Um, I don't know what the inside of the car looks like, but I'll do some research. I do have actual pictures, the actual pictures of the actual pre-Ecto-1 car, and I have all the sides, pictures of all the sides of the car. So I'll be able to make it pretty accurate, as accurate as possible. Um, so anyways, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So I gotta take this light off, this light off, these back lights off, take everything off, the roof rack off, the hoses off, the clips. I'm gonna leave, I would leave these ones on for the two that the two front ones that are on the, the uh, pre-ecto, right? And then there's a big red one in the center here that I would have to create. And also I have to drill a hole underneath it to put a light up in it. Again, mess with the wires, figure all that out right? If I want lights, if I still want all the lights to work. Um, also would have to take all the window tint off, figure that out. Um, I mean, they're just stickers, but you know, hopefully that's not going to be a big pain in the butt. Uh, the cool thing is the pre, pre Ecto one is all dirty and messed up as well. Right? So I'm not worried about the windows being dirty at all. I actually think that would actually be a good look for it after I take the uh, tent out. I don't care about the inside being dirty. I mean, I, I actually think that's what it would look like. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be nice and clean, right? So that don't bother me at all. Once I get the window tent off, I'm cool with all the dirtiness on the windows. Um, one thing I just noticed is that this, this window is pretty clean compared to all the other windows. For some reason, this one did not get as much weathering as all the other windows. Huh. Kind of bothers me. Anyways, um, what next? What next, guys? Uh, the wheels. The wheels. There's different rims on, I think, two, maybe even three of the wheels. There's different rims. I'm, I'm not going to change the, the rims, guys. I'm just going to paint them. I'm going to paint them to look more like the Pre-Ecto. Um, that's just too much work. I don't... I don't I'd have to I'd have to pay to get another 3D printed uh, rim. Figure out how these tires come off. All that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to paint and weather the tires to look like the Preacto. Um, hard to explain right now, but if I do this, I'll show you guys. Uh, another thing would be everything that comes off of here. Antennas coming off, hoses coming off, ladder, everything. I'm gonna have to putty all the holes. Putty and and uh sand all the holes and make it all make the holes go away and make it smooth again to get it ready for paint 
So that would probably be the biggest job to do this would be to get rid of all the holes. Um, paint isn't that big a deal. Um, I would rather take the entire car apart to paint it. I don't know if that's going to be an option. So I'm going to have to rely on masking the whole car to paint it, which is scary because if paint leaks, seeks through, it's ruined. Um, so I'd rather not mask the entire car to get the black and gray paint on there. But I don't think there's access to this car as easily as I, I would like. Like I said, I don't see screws anywhere. Um, well, I guess there are a couple screws there. Uh, I guess there are screws. We'll see. We'll see. So anyways, um, yeah, if I could take this whole car apart and paint it, that'd be a lot better. I don't got to worry about um, masking everything off with tape. So what else, guys? Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Engine's going to be the same. Just going to weather it like I did here. That's no problem. That's, that's going to not going to have to change much. So yeah, all the antennas, everything. Oh, the mirrors. So this light would have to come off. Now, technically this mirror would have to come off and this mirror would have to come off. And it's got these big, big like truck mirrors that, that stick out. Again, do I want to try to create those mirrors? I don't know. I'll have to research it, see what I can do, see how hard it would be. I actually don't think it'd be that hard to do that. Um, I built the Dumb and Dumber mini bike with these plastic acrylic uh, bars that I just heated and bent and everything. I could probably do that for the mirrors. Drill some holes, put tap the mirror in, glue it in, whatever. Um, paint it chrome, silver, whatever. I could probably do that. So these the mir mirrors would have to come off as well if I did this all correctly. Um, again, fix the holes, get rid of the holes. Um, then we'll head over to the, oh, also these, I know this is a fender here, but I call these fenders as well. This part of the fender, this cutaway that covers the wheel, this on both sides of the rear tires is gone. So I would have to cut this off, cut these panels out, which actually would be pretty cool. And this is a pretty thin piece of plastic here. It's not that thick. So I think I can make a nice clean cut following that line. But these are off and missing on the Prieto. Um, again, I would do, I would redo the entire interior. Um, it almost would be a shame though to buy another afterlife and not be able to use any of these things. <laughs> like all this accessories has to go. Cut it down to bare minimum. Literally the only thing that would, that would stick are these, or stay, sorry, these were these two lights here. Um, but yeah, but maybe I can make like a display with this stuff, kind of just like a garage. And this stuff would be like sitting in the garage or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I get crazy with my ideas. Um, Okay, so let me flip this over real quick. Sorry guys, my uh, phone battery died. Um, but I was just gonna flip this over, but real quick before I do that, another thing is these flashers would have to go. And I already looked at them. They, these things literally will slide right off of this pin that they're on. They'll, they'll slide straight out. So that'll be easy as hell. I'll be able to just slide these right out and then hide the wire for the light or whatever, or use it for something else actually. Um, and then just cut off these little nubs that the that these are actually sit, uh, slid, slid, slid into. Sorry guys, but yeah, I'd have to get rid of those uh, flashing flashers, flashing flashers as well. Okay, let's get let's see the other side real quick. Okay, so on this side again, I'd have to cut out this fender panel or whatever, whatever you want to call this. Don't know the name. Uh, I'd also. Would take off the sticker like I did with this one, that stupid white sticker. Um, just peel that right off. Take this handle off with the lock somehow. Figure that out. I don't know if I can get to it from the inside panel. Again, I don't see like any screws accessible. So either way, either cut it off or 
be able to get behind it and take it off. But either way, I would have to move this handle back. Um, the only thing with that is it ain't gonna look right. It'll look like the handle is still facing backwards. Um, but that's just something I'm gonna have to live with. But I have to take this handle off, put it back where it goes with the lock, fix up those holes, um, bond them or whatever, and then sand it smooth before I paint. Uh, now here's the cool thing though, I'll have to take these stickers off. So it will be a nice practice run for when I want to replace these ones on um, the afterlife car, that Stan, the afterlife car. So that'll be, in, I'll be able to uh, figure out how the best way to do that for when I do get my replacement stickers for this. Um, so yeah guys, that's, uh, I'm sure there's more stuff, but off the top of my head, that's everything I can think of. Would be take all the lights off, the roof rack off, move that handle back over here. Obviously the door is still gonna be a suicide door. I'm not gonna like change the hinges or any of that. That's, I'm not gonna do all that. Um, yeah, so um, all the lights except these two front ones. Another thing is these blue, blue lenses, one is supposed to be red, one is supposed to be green. I have to paint them. I don't know if I use clear acrylic paint, if that would work. I think it would just be, I think this blue is too dark to really cover it. It might turn it into a totally different color, you know, when you mix colors or whatever. So not sure yet. Um, either way, I'm not gonna go through and try to be like put new lenses in. I mean, I don't, like I said, if I had a 3D printer or whatever, I would do stuff like that, but I gotta, I gotta figure out ways to do this without a 3D printer, which is why I can't make a Ecto-1 1A from Ghostbusters 2. That would be the dream. I wanted to get another one of these and turn that into an Ecto-1A. Um, obviously, I don't want to spend the money on another, on another one of these. Um, but years ago, I, I, I almost picked up a second one to do that. But I just don't know. I mean, I don't have a 3D printer to make all the all that extra lights and all the extra stuff. They, 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 on the Ecto-1A from Ghostbusters 2, they have that uh, LED display on both sides and everything. Um, yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day. But the doing the pre-ecto, the black and the gray, before they turn it into the ecto is something definitely doable. So, um, anyways guys, I just wanted to go through all I would have to do to make this happen. And it's a lot, but I enjoy doing it and it wouldn't cost much money at all to do it. Uh, I just got to have the courage to do it. <laughs> I, I don't get, I take that back. Buying another one of these is going to cost the money, but to actually um, transfer it, modify it into the Preacto ain't going to cost any more money really. Um, but I, I do, it would be awesome to transform the inside as well. Um, obviously all this stuff will come right out and if I could cover up the hole for the trap and then lay like carpet in there. And like I said, I'm gonna put the curtains on the windows and then maybe find like a, or build a gurney, like a one six gurney, you know, or, or just take the one out of that. No, I'm not gonna take the one out of that. I can't do that. I can for pictures and stuff, but, um. Well, that's built for proton packs anyways. I need one that's like, that'll hold a casket. And then I can put a casket in there. That would be sick. And then like I said, put some interior lights. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking big guys, I'm thinking big. Um, it's a hell of a lot of work, but like I said, I that, that part excites me. Um, I love to get an idea and then find a way to execute it. And that's what I did with the the Mark III there. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to go through some logistics of what would have to happen to make this happen. Um, I know I'm just rambling, guys, but my, my brain's going. So I did call the store that I'm planning on getting this 
other afterlife from if I do it. Um, they have plenty in stock, they said. So, I'm just kind of debating in my head still if I want to do this. I mean, I want to do it. There's no question I want to do it. But do I have the extra cash? Um, I really want to wait for my Batwing to sell and my DeLoreans to sell. These have not sold yet. Um, by the way, if anyone is interested, the guy that was going to buy the Mark III uh, couldn't. So this is still available. Um, I'll make another video on that later. But uh, shoot me up if you're interested in that or anything. Uh, the only two things I'm not selling at the moment is my two Ecto ones. So, but man, how cool would it be to have that Ecto one there, the Afterlife there? Actually, really, it should be pre Ecto one there, and then the '84, and then Afterlife on the bottom. Which I don't even know if I can get all. Oh yeah, I can get all three because I'm not gonna have any of that roof rack stuff. Um, I'm gonna have enough, you know, four or five inches less. Five, actually, what am I talking about? Six, inch, six inches probably uh, with the antennas extra. So the pre-acto would fit in the bottom for sure. How cool would that look having all three of those? You know, and they're the same car. They're the same car, just different. <laughs> modes or whatever but anyways guys okay this is getting long so yeah that's uh what i, what I would have to do to make this happen and again the dirtiness of this car i mean i'm painting everything would be black all the whites black with the gray patches and everything but i'm saying just the windows if i can get the window tent off i don't mind the windows being dirty because there's nothing i can do about that anyways but I think, I think that would, all I'm trying to say is I think that would actually fit the look to the pre-acto. So um, that's not a big deal. I don't know. I, I think it's definitely doable. It's definitely doable. And I just, I'm trying to picture it. And the thing that's getting me is like, I, I did it to the 118's hot, hot wheels one, right? And that was cool, but to do it, to have a one sixth version, and to do it way better than I did it. I mean, I, honestly, the way, I mean, I'm not happy with my work on that. I, it was my first time trying and it was messy, whatever. Uh, and it also wasn't 100% accurate. Now that I have the photos all around the car, I can make it 100% accurate. And it's easier to do the details because I'm working on something much bigger. So just trying to picture it guys I think it'd be really cool would it be really cool um all right man I am really rambling all right guys have a good one let me know what you think in the comments below uh, I think it's definitely doable um I'd like to still figure out a few things like how these are connected first if I can just pull this off or is there a screw up under here that I would have to access by taking this panel off first. This whole entire thing is like one piece on the inside here. Um, you know, and then there's no way of taking this actually out of the car. It would just, whatever. But I think it, I think there's gotta be a screw, screws holding this thing on, it's gotta be. There's no way that's just sitting in there, so. So we'll see, there's always a way. I'm not worried about that, there's always a way, but best way so plus I'd have to hide all these wires these wires have to go that's what I'm saying I would have to run the wires on the inside of the car on the roof so you don't see them and then figure out what wires would go or whatever like the all all the lights in the front and the back would have to stay the same but yet I don't know I don't know. It's, <laughs> I'm trying to figure all this out right now. Not gonna happen. But I'm just going through the logistics and everything, what would have to happen. So, because if I, like I said, if I do it, I'm not doing it half fast. All right, guys, this video is getting super long. I'm so sorry for rambling. Hope you guys are having a great one. Hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It's Friday. Go out, enjoy it. Uh, be with your friends and family. And I'm gonna sit here and ponder this and go crazy over it. 
until I finally uh, make a decision on if I want to try this or not. But I'm crazy. I'm probably going to do it. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I don't know. All right. I'm out. See you.